take a look now at balancing number problems so that both sides are equal. Now imagine if you're on a seesaw and the person at the other end weighs the same as you and your seesaw's nice and balanced. But someone comes along and sits up the other end. What's going to happen to the seesaw? It's going to tilt to that end because each side's no longer the same. If someone comes along and sits on your side and you weigh about the same as the people on the other end, you're going to balance your seesaw because both sides are the same. When we look at balancing number problems, that's kind of what we're doing. We're imagining a seesaw so that it's balanced and both sides have the same value. Let's look at this one. We have 18 less 6 on one side of the seesaw and along come 7 and 9 more. What's going to happen to this seesaw? Well, let's have a look. 18 less 6 gives us 12, but up the other end, 7 and 9 gave us 16. So that's heavier and that's going to go down. So they don't have the same value. What could we add to this side where the 12 is so that it's the same value as the other side that has 16? That's the solution we need to find to balance our number problem. 12 plus what more makes 16? Well, let's look at a number line. If we count from 12 to 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, we know that 12 and 4 more make 16. So we now have 4 more on this side that has 18 less 6. So let's see if we can solve that now. 18 less 6 is 12 and 4 more makes 16. And 7 and 9 makes 16. So we have an equal value on both sides. Our seesaw is balanced. So is our number problem, by the way. Now, remember the seesaw, but we're not going to use the seesaw till the very end this time. Let's see if we can balance this so that both sides have the same value. On one side, we have 19 less 9. On the other, we have 100 shared into an unknown number of groups. We can solve 19 less 9. That's 10. So we now know that when we share 100 into groups, there will be 10 in each group. 10 is how many we get when we share 100 into a certain number of groups. Well, if we want to put 10 in each group, we'd need 10 groups of 10 to make 100. So 100 shared into 10 groups equals 10. 10 equals 10 on both sides of our number problem now. So we can say our number problem is balanced. Both sides have the same value when we put a 10 where the question mark is. So let's give that a tick, but let's check the seesaw first. 19 less 9 is 10. 100 shared into 10 groups gives us 10. Our seesaw's balanced. And so is our number problem.